bust it. Clean, clean, clean. Man, you capping. Ooh, ah. Uh. Clean, 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 clean. Oh, you capping. Drip, splash, water, drip, splash, splash, drip, water, splash, splash, drip, water. No. <laughs> hey, friends. Hey, Jonathan. On a beautiful day like this, I can't help but talk about a project that I'm really excited for. I think it's gonna push the boundaries of what a movie can be, and I'm just really intrigued to see how it turns out. It's the Minecraft movie that's being made by Warner Brothers Pictures. So, you know when one bird is spewful? Like a, like a blue bird or a, like a flamingo? Yeah? You are an ugly person. <laughs> Steve Carell was originally tied to this project and was gonna play Steve. But he left the project somewhere along the way, so now Jack Black is gonna play Steve instead. I'm optimistic about this casting choice because Jack Black is one of those actors who always has fun in the projects that he's in, so bringing his energy into this project is a refined and fun decision in my opinion. Joining him in this spicy movie are the likes of Jason Momoa, Emma Myers, Kate McKinnon, Danielle Brooks, and several other wonderful actors. This is a unique mishmash of people that I'm very interested to see on screen. The difference in ages between the cast members could mean that they're going for the message that like, Minecraft is for everyone no matter what age you are, but we'll see. They could also just be a big family that hops into the world of Minecraft to save it from the Ender Dragon. Hi, I forgot to mention this in the video, but here's the working synopsis for the movie. The malevolent Ender Dragon sets out on a path of destruction, prompting a young girl and her group of unlikely adventurers to set out to save the overworld. Jason Momoa could be like the cool uncle who joins in for the ride, and Jack Black could be like a mentor figure who saved the world of Minecraft before, and will now guide Emma Myers and the gang on their quest to stop the Ender Dragon. There are a lot of theories on how this movie will look like visually, but Danielle Brooks stated that the movie is pretty magical. It's so lifelike. I don't know how much I can share, but I do know fans will not be disappointed with the world they've created. We obviously do some green screen, but we got all the things there. Basically, all your senses are being used. You have the world for your sight, but also for an actor, the smells of certain things. That's a great statement. It makes me even more excited for the movie as I want to see just how lifelike the world of Minecraft will actually be in the film. I'm expecting this movie to have a similar vibe to the likes of Free Guy, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Detective Pikachu. I don't think it's going to take itself too seriously, and it's more likely than not going to lean into the unconventional and otherworldly elements of video game movies. Here are some pictures of Minecraft blocks in real life. As you can see, they retain their original and cartoony design. They're not trying to blend into real life, and I think that's how it's going to be in the film as well. Hopefully, they keep the original design of everything from the game, because they are just way too adored and iconic to be changed, in my opinion. And now, a word from the movie producer, John Berg. That's going to be an amazing movie. We have all the resources. It's a big Warner Brothers spectacular. We've got Jason Momoa and Jack Black in it. I think it's going to inspire people. Minecraft's such a cool game. My kids played it, I played it, it's gonna be true to the game. And Jared has directing is going to do an awesome job. So first off, he mentioned that it's a big Warner Brothers spectacular and that they have all the resources. So the budget must be big for this movie, and that's great to hear. Hopefully that will translate into good visual effects in the movie, and a big budget usually means that the people working on the project have faith in it. And then John proceeds to say that it's going to be true to the game and that it's going to inspire people. Which drives my theory even more that the original designs from the game are going to be left untouched in the film adaptation. According to IMDb, filming for the Minecraft movie began near the end of 2023 and took place primarily in Canada and New Zealand, and is slated for a release date of early April 2025. However, do take the filming timeline with a grain of salt as other sources state that this movie will begin filming in spring 2024. Nevertheless, I expect a trailer for this film to be released near the end of 2024. It's great that we're finally getting updates on this movie after periods of long silence, and hopefully other projects will follow suit. I'm looking at you, Berlin Nobody. Thank you for watching, my friends. I hope this video brought a smile to your face, and I hope you have a wonderful day.